Okay. We'll do the next chapter of this werewolf section. Uh, yeah, now we fight the Machamp werewolf. lead to a giant, very unreasonably placed castle. Volf is a bit of a dick. <laughs> he loves to run things like he's a Nazi. But he is called Volf, <laughs> so I mean, what did you expect? And he's a fiend. I mean, you know. <laughs> what a... Rubble! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm glad that our giant fight uh, knocked down strategic pieces of rubble that stopped me from being trapped in this shitty underground sewer from Roman times. Greco Roman times. It's hard to tell with this architecture, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> you go in for Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> oh, fish again! Fuck you! Fucking fish. Fish are such assholes! Oh my god! Why does nature conspire against ninjas so much? Why do they have blood? They're ghost fish! Wow, that was like the worst jump I've ever done. And by the way, every single time this game puts you into a position where you have to um, platform, I just fuck up constantly in ways, new and interesting ways I wasn't even aware of. Ooh, a shiny box. Yeah, I forgot to get this. You could get this before the boss fight. Uh, in my first playthrough, I got it before. Yeah, it's pretty useful to have that. So. <laughs> Would have been helpful for that shitty boss fight. <laughs> oh, let's let's do this again. This fish better not fucking be there again. So mad. So mad about the fucking fish. Fuck you. Oh you ass! This camera is not helping! I think he's dead. <laughs> I just did the same fucking thing. I don't understand what I'm doing here. Am I missing an underhanging lip? Am I just stupid? I'm just stupid. Okay. We're back to here. Ah, uh, what can we look at now? Okay, what am I doing? Like, oh, thank Christ I got over that one. Oh no, there's more of them. No! <laughs> I thought it went much further than it did. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Fucking fish! Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Stupid fucking fish! Where are they? Show yourself, ass fish! Oh, I hate this area. Can we just leave, please? Like, this whole area is like 10 minutes tops, and I fuck up so much. It's like literally walk to the castle, and I'm like, Herbert Dirt, let's just get stuck on this shitty platform. No! Fuck you, fish! For fuck's sake! Ah! No! God damn fish! I just want to get past this bit, please just let me get past it. Oh, he's right there! Just gonna run past him. No doubt he'll cause further issues later. Oh my god, just get on the thing, there we go. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I hate it so much! 
that everyone who is like, oh, how come Ninja Gaiden is just combat corridor, combat corridor? It's because the fucking platforming is just, oh my god. No! No! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Stupid fish. Now what? Where do I go? Is it this way with the obviously highlighted path I nearly fucked up again? Oh. At least I got past that bit. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh. Why are you everywhere? I've killed so many, and for what? A fucking herb? Kidding me? Stupid fish, they don't even do any damage really. Look, look at them. I fought so many and they've done like two blips of health. Oh yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. One reaction, bitches. Oh, at least you're not fish. You're weird boob scorpions. Now look at their chests. Why are they like... Why are they like... Why do they have purple bites? Seriously, like, why? <laughs> Like, who's looking at this and thinking, Oh, you know, you know what would make this game sell? The, the snake scorpion enemies that are all spikes if they get some fat tits. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Team Ninja Fury. I refuse to say that name properly. <laughs> Uh, get you, get you from far away. You can't stop. Oh my god! What is wrong with these fish? Seriously, just make it, make it end. I swung at him and he still got up to hit him. Fish damage, man, is absurd. And there's a fish floating around, so it's like, oh yeah, man, you, like, you can't heal. Yeah, a mushroom. This is not worth it. Oh my god! No! Oh no, there's like a serpent down here! He must have fell down in the combat! I cannot fight them on the water. You cannot fight these things in the water very well. Oh, he died. Good job, it only took a few hits there. Okay, we'll look for the rock face, rock face, rock face. Where is the place I can climb? Not here, okay. Just go all the way back. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh my god, let this nightmare end. This is like my least favorite part of the game. Nope. Still enemies, I believe, somewhere. Let me, let me out. Let me out. Let's just not fuck around. Just <laughs> save. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, moving on. I always forget where the locations are. Let's, let's mess around with something. Let's, let's just fuck around. It's been a while since I used the Wolverine claws, so I might use them later. Ah, oh, it's this space. I gotta kill the Skelly Scorps. Feels like something you'd see in a Escape from Monkey Island. <laughs> I don't know why, it just feels like an Escape from Monkey Island like character enemy that would just be hanging around. Am, am I off base with that? Oh yes, the skull pile. No castle is without the massive skull pile. Preview into my basement. 
I'm too poor for a skull basement. <laughs> Seriously, these guys are just walk forwards and hit you with like a low. That's, that's all they do. Oh my god, stop. Please. Oh, you fucks. Oh, that good. It's got to that. Oh. Make the pain stop. Yeah, just ultimate attack a bunch of you. There's still more. Oh. Oh, why? <laughs> so, if you didn't realize, because I skipped through the tutorial a lot, the orbs that they draw will charge your ultimate technique if you hold down triangle, or Y if you're feeling fruity. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> So you need less of a time to charge it, which means you have to really get used to char like, and one orb will charge you really quickly, so you don't have to worry about the number of orbs, just there is some orbs. There are some orbs. Uh, and then you've got to just work out, oh, I need about like a, about a half second where they don't hit me out of it to charge it. Yeah, take that skull. Oh. Just guess I'll just go home then. Hmm? <laughs> and that's why you should properly compost your skeletons. Otherwise they turn into a kind of middle range boss. That is like slightly annoying to deal with, but it's not too big of a deal. I love the design. But I'm not, I like big skellies. Oh, this is not not the right. No, we don't want that at all. We want something. Yeah, that, that'll do. Sorry, Kasami. Is it Kasari or Kasami? I don't know. The chain hook sword thing. The weight on it. I like that weapon, and I use it a lot through my first playthrough. But like, I. Sometimes I'm just a bit like, uh, lack of creativity on what I should be doing. Same with this. I'm just trying to do hits. Oh, he grabbed me. He dropped bone on me. He smashed me. He throw me. It's like a ball pit. <laughs> Ah yeah, we we'll just do this. lots and lots of little hits. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. No! Stop hitting me! You're not allowed. Mum says it's my turn with the hits. Yeah, fall down. Fish. Ship away. Set fire to the bone. Oh, that does nothing. Holy shit. Bone is. Fire is not very effective against the bone. Oh, my face, you ruined it. <laughs> so it looked like he was doing it. I was like, really? <laughs> You're a skeleton monster. <laughs> I'll spam health items until I win. Fuck you. Using this. Oh, stop kicking me. It's very inaccurate. Oh. God. That is got a wide range, or I just keep walking into it. Stab. Let's stab. No! Don't eat me! You're dead, you don't eat food. This is the stupidest move set ever. Now. You will not win. Not today, Skelly Satan. Yeah. The trick is to hit him in the glowing meat coin that I was not doing. <laughs> 
Oh no, you found my glowing weak point. Oh. Oh. The guys are gonna laugh so hard at me for making my weak point so obvious. Reza, I don't give a fuck about any of this. Please, can we continue? <laughs> like, he just looks so like, what the fuck am I even looking at? Like, can we just get on with this? I'm here to kill a fiend, but not really. I'm just trying to chase Elizabeth. For professional reasons. <laughs> oh, more dudes. A herb. You're so kind. Just what I always wanted. As there's no one here. That was awkward. I wanted to be a cool guy. <laughs> More platforming. Wow, they just take arrows like a champ up here, don't they? Oh, you know, like we got our bone pit here with bone scorpions. You know what would really make our interior design <laughs> scary? Hang up another skeleton? What are you, me? <laughs> Hanging up skull imagery everywhere. <laughs> Come to me, little scorps. Ah, oh, you ruined it by staying alive. Oh well, there's only one. Uh, okay. Can we? Should we go down there? No. Uh, let's get out of this. Wario mind track. <laughs> Thought it was near the end. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck, what? Why does that kill me? I just went to the beginning of the. I have to do it all again. Well, at least it did it after the boss. Oh, thank Christ. Thank someone who's not Christ. Why would they make the final thing like this weird, awkward, it looks like you should be swallow jumping up the side of like, the left and right sides of this fireplace thing, chimney thing, mineshaft thing, only to auto-correct you to the front so that you're like, wait, what was that? And it just falls through a hole in the floor, like, why would you make that a thing? We'll find out later, I guess. Skeletorps over and over and over again. I'm not grinding for XP. You ever think the guy who decorated this place just kind of went a little ham on the skeleton motif though? It's like, hey, oh, there's a save point right fucking there. You, I just walked by it last time. Damn it. There seems to be more save points than, than when I originally played the game. Xbox 360. Uh, you think the interior decorator of this area was just given a bunch of skeletons and was just like, yeah, do what you can with this, I don't fucking care. Because, like, he was like, you know what I'm gonna do? Is it hang up a skeleton, Barry? It's hanging up a skeleton again. I gotta be honest, we don't have any paint, just skeletons. <laughs> See, I, I wanted to go left, right, left, right, and it went forward, back, forward, back there, and that's what really fucked me up. Ah, it was a hangman's gurney gallow thing. Finally, a worthy adversary has entered my castle. Excellent. <sighs> you shall be given a most fitting welcome. <laughs> Why are you a furry and no one else is a furry? This is where I honestly sat down and thought, why didn't you call him the Sandstorm guy? Because he's clearly a Sandstorm thing. Like, look at the motif and the colors and his design. And it's not until now I work out he's supposed to be the Sandstorm guy. 
because they call him Storm Guy. So I think Thunderstorm, but we just had the Lightning Guy, so that doesn't make sense. God damn it. <laughs> I guess, you know, it would be a bit weird to be like, oh yeah, man, we've got like all of the greater fiends with all the destructive powers of the world here. Lightning. Sandstorms. Blood. And fire, I guess. Fire makes sense. Ah, yes, the most destructive thing of all. Blood. The thing that literally keeps us alive. <laughs> like, oh my fucking god. And, you know, sandstorms. I am the fiend of minor inconvenience if you live in a temperate country. <laughs> How will you defeat me, Ryu? Is it by moving further away from an arid location? <laughs> So the lightning guy, what are you gonna do, Ryu? Walk away from a thunderstorm? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they can summon it, but like, you know, at least fire makes sense. Fire is universal, man. Everyone's scared of fire. Oh, run up this wall. Is there a box in there? No, it's just a, a tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, thanks. So we're fighting these weird, serious sam enemies now, with no heads. They just don't charge at us going, ah the whole time. So it's basically the same thing, though. They make squeaky rat noises that sound public domain as fuck. What's weird is you can still land headshots on them. Dead. That's why they call me... The stuff man? Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> it's such a weird mood to me. Izuna drop bitch! He's, he's already dead, you can stop now. <laughs> he's not. I can't even tell you what's happening to the staff at that point, it just looks like it's turning into like three staffs with flails on the end, which it might be doing. Cannon. King Cannon. Ugh. More of these weird... Like, whenever you put breasts on a demon, I assume it's supposed to be a seduction demon. Like, because that's kind of like how it used to be done in a lot of life. Like, think about Baphomet. Baphomet is designed to, like, represent, like, both man, man and woman, and it's supposed to represent temptation, I think. <laughs> and, uh, various other demon designs from around the same era, they represent temptation by showing nude breasts. And I'm looking at that demon and I'm thinking, who the fuck is looking at that demon and going, damn! <laughs> well, it's got its titties out, so, fair game! <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I even got a humanistic form. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, what can I even, it's the same thing I've always had with mermaids, where everyone's like, mermaids are super hot, and I'm like, but, like, what, what, it's half fish, man. I can't tell you how, I can't tell you how little I'm attracted to fish, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> like, just like, great, Ariel's kind of cute, I guess, except she's a fucking fish person. So, I don't want to really deal with fish parts. So, why is this part of the... Why am I talking about <laughs> Let's just go look at the nice save point. Three, out of all the save points I've used in video games, top save point design. Cool dragon. Floaty dragon. My understanding that most cities have a floaty dragon save point. Can I? Oh, it won't let me because they fell down. Kill the goo demon. Like, 
like, imagine being birthed as that demon, that's like the most try-hard of the demons. I've got no head or heart, or like, I float and I make squeaky noises and I'm on fire, so like, calm the fuck down. You can have one. There's such thing as overloading your design. You know, it stops being intimidating and starts turning into, oh, it's just, he's the one with the everything. <laughs> I get the goo, goo off my, off my side. I want to be close to present blade. I will stab you with the blunt end of this weapon. I do not care. <laughs> oh, you! Since when do they get dives like that? It's not fair. I like this weapon. You can do cool shit. It's pretty effective, but it's a little slow. <sighs> How will I solve this problem? There's a ladder down there, like I almost want to fail it deliberately to see what's down there, because I've never failed this. Can I just... Is there a chest? No? Looks like that would be where there would be a chest, but I'm too lazy to... Too lazy to work it out. Oh, let's just do the thing. We're gonna do the Resident Evil guys, and I mean the bad wife insert movie. Yeah! Now I will be the Miller Jovova bitch. Did I say that right? <laughs> ah. It's not like anyone was using this church anyway, there's no pews or anything. Although I'd be pissed off if I had an ornate stained glass window and some ninja went flying through it. <laughs> This thing's cost a bomb. You know you can't even clean single plate tempered glass or like stained glass like that without getting a professional cleaner to do it because it can like completely fuck up the glass and make it smash or like the grouting to disintegrate or whatever the sealant. Yeah, I know that because I used to live in an old, really old fashioned house in Bath. And yeah, you can't wash those windows with anything, like you have to be really careful, like really specific temperature water, like, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't withstand a storm. Oh, you fucks. Actually, I actually have to use a healing item here. It's embarrassing. Because this guy just won't go and fuck down. <laughs> He's letting his little friends here do the, the injustice. We'll just spam projectiles. How long can I do this? Yeah. 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 Oh. I was trying to go for an obliteration technique, but it was like, no, he's dead. Stop. Stop. Please. Yeah, it's this, this time for Wolverine. Uh, oh, really? Nothing to interact with? Okay. Ah, uh, you know. Very boomer design, this house. I'm gonna have a massive palace. What will you put in all of these ornate rooms, sire? Fucking nothing. Fuck the poor. <laughs> I'm just having them... I will leave a werewolf in my kitchen, though, just to fuck the poor who come in for food. But sir, we're starving. Talk to Chef Dilla Werewolf, bitch. <laughs> Maybe you can get some scraps off of him. Seriously. Look at this disgusting litany. Litany of avarice. He's even got a fucking wine cellar. Cunt. I don't even like wine! This all should be bourbon! Just got your meat hanging out? That's not good! I'm trying to hit these barrels, I swear. <laughs> you 
can tell you can break them because they're a different color from the ones that aren't, like a Tom and Jerry cartoon. <laughs> ah, the CB. Say Werewolf Castle seems a little understaffed and underfurnished. Who is lighting all of those candles? You telling me that he's got a werewolf in here and it's like, okay, Werewolf Jim, your job is just to light these candles. But I want to fight the ninja boss. No, you're the candler. <laughs> like he's just going around, going with a like a zippo or something. Go wait, wait, wait. Oh shit, I dropped. Like, they don't even look like they can reach the candelabras. How are they getting a werewolf to climb that shit? Someone's doing it and they killed all the humans, right? That was a while ago as well. well all I'm saying is there's at least one, maybe several. Several including this room. So Werewolf Jim is doing like the main hall. And then all of these basically empty rooms with chairs that werewolves can't sit in. Uh, that's probably done by a separate team of campers. I stabbed him through his torso hole. Look at this. Oh yes, my room that I have my identical chaise lounges in. Just I mean, what's the point? You can't have a conversation on those. Oh, the Zuna dropped his headless corpse. Oh, he's still alive. Ah, oh, fuck. Stop, stop it! Oh. Yeah, seriously, I hate this room. What is this room for? For people to sit and do nothing? Like, you can't do anything. Ah yes, the ego room where I have my giant portrait of myself. When did this guy take over? Like, give me a timeline here. Apparently it was un not long enough that they needed to keep the candle guy alive while the candles are still burning, but he managed to get a full oil painting made of himself. Like, I know I'm paying too much attention. <laughs> An oil painting like that would take a long time to make. This is where you get the uh, Vigorian flail, I think. Is that a Vigorian flail or a Kasari gun? Oh god, I forgot. Thanks, Pillar. Thanks, Pillar! <laughs> I can see so much. Good job I'm not playing on hard mode. I don't want to deal with you anymore, and I've got lots of keys. Seriously, look at all these candles. Look at all this guild, gilded shit. Fucking eat the rich, man. It's not even tasteful. That's what I hate about rich people, man. I look at their shit and I think, this isn't even well designed. I fucking hate it. Like... <laughs> Watching rich people's houses, and you go, "Wow, this is why like certain people shouldn't be allowed wealth because fucking hell, you have no taste or class. It's just gaudy and awful." Like, jeez. Says the guy with multiple clothing drugs and Mexican blankets. <laughs> why is? Why did they pull the books off of this one specifically? <laughs> oh, I can't read. I'll go home. The four greater fiends, Dagra die. You will not see Infernal Priest Dagra die until the end of this game, and he's kind of a disappointment. But like, he's the whole reason all of this is happening. Yeah, that's basically all that it says. Wannabe Satanist tries to summon fiends, fucks up badly, becomes some loser. 
Yeah! It's important that I cheer every time I do that. Wow. I just wanted to use this because I never use it, and it's really, really not the weapon for enemies that can just berserk a barrage you. <laughs> or, I mean, like, drill for you. Just straight through you. Drill claw! Dead. Better be dead. I did a cool move, you need to die. Oh, oh, oh okay. If I get you in the air, your friends can't hit me. Oh, they got me in the corner, what the fuck? Shit. I do a lot more defensive work with these weapons, I don't want to do that. I just want to hit buttons and win. The complete opposite of the previous weapon. Oh. It's good to switch it up a lot. Like most character action games, you just want to keep switching, because if you don't keep switching, you're just going to be like, oh, I'm a yawn. <laughs> you know, so just keep changing weapon, changing weapon. Changing. Ah yes, my room where there's fucking nothing in it, except my marble floor. It's, it's, ma it's making me literally so angry, because it's like, <laughs> oh yes, I'm glad we're destroying the planet for these kind of like buildings to be made for the turbo rich. Obviously it's not real. Ah yeah, look, you can see the whole of fake Venice from up here. It's pretty impressive, although it doesn't look great in this HDM scale world. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not dealing with you, fuckers. Yeah, we know. You were in London. The Howling. I can't think of anything, I'm sorry. I've only watched a few werewolf movies, they're not my favourite. I recently watched uh, an American werewolf in London, which is hilarious, because it's... Americans massively misunderstand how British people act and look. Mixed with... <laughs> Just some really weird comedy. Yeah, good. Got my grains. Got my gains. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, it's pretty entertaining. And the Howling is pretty good, but feels like a Mazda commercial for some reason. Like they they really focus on the guys. Is it the RX-7 he has or the MX-5? I don't know, it looked like an RX-7. Most impressive that a puny human like you made it Where did you get that throne? It's so wide. <laughs> I have prepared a venue befitting a duel to the death. Good for you, mate. Hmm, not here. The thing about Ryu that, like, a lot of character action characters Come, it's just he's so quiet, he doesn't of really Coliseum. say anything, and it's like, you know, the fun thing about some of these guys is that they have one-liners, and there's just no one-liners. Like, you're never gonna hear, like, Ryu say some hilarious, like, he's never gonna say flock off feather face, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'm just like, no mercy now, I'm just gonna fucking kill all of these guys, cause fuck. I'm so tired of fighting werewolves. Luckily, by the end of this chapter, it's a while before you have to constantly fight room after room of werewolves. Can I sit in the- no, that would be cool. I just have to jump down- jump down the tiny hole. Save point, is there anything here? No, I thought it'd be like a box or a merchant. Tonfas? Yeah, Tonfas, why not? I like Tonfas as an idea. I like Nunchucks as an idea, but like... Someone... <laughs> as someone who owns Nunchucks and has used Nunchucks a few times and has practiced learning how to use Nunchucks, they are some of the most useless weapons 
Like, it's, like, you'd almost be better off with just a club. <laughs> like, you know, like... Because they're, like, pretty hard to use. They look cool when you can use them, right? But, like, the, the effective range is not very far away from you. Like, it's pretty close to you and you have to deal with, like, catching it the whole time, otherwise you get smacked in the face with your own clubs. So, to some degree, it's just not a very... it's a very style-over-substance weapon. Sure, people think you're cool if you can use nunchucks and you could use them in a, like, a display, but, like, you can do some cool trick shit with them, but, like, in a real fight... <laughs> You're better off just smacking someone in the face with the blunt end. <laughs> Unless you're gonna be like, oh yeah, look how cool I am. It's like, a lot of weapons just out there like, wow, this is just... You can see why most people just went sword. <laughs> Everything else feels a little impractical. Observe closely Why does he human. have, like, fried chicken wings stuck to his back? Appearance. He is a proven warrior! I really don't like his fried chicken wings. Oh, he's not unique, unlike me and my copy-pasted friends. Do you wish his blood spilled? I disagree with whatever my boss Who tells me do to do. to see destroy him? Let's me go to the bathroom when I want. We're yes, all happy here. Wolf, invincible ruler of storms. He shall be given an honorable death. Oh, I did it lower down. Honorable death. Ah, I see. You're using the ancient technique of swinging wildly. If I just keep hitting you out of shit, you just... <laughs> Tonfa, bitch. Tonfa stun. You on stun. Oh. I did not get him on stun. Sir, I request you go on stun now. Don't give me range weapons that never work. <laughs> Okay, this guy's a... Uh, he's doing stuff that I should be able to avoid, but I'm too stupid. I'm really telegraphed, holy shit, I'm bad at the game. Oh, he's nearly dead though, it doesn't matter. Ah, I see, the corner trap in a circular coliseum. Oh, fire! Oh! You fried my chicken wings! Oh, my breadsticks. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck was that? I paid for Lollapalooza! I will get Lollapalooza! I hear my sick beats! They really make it in the cutscene look really impressive, like lots of them will lots of them will uh, come and fight you, then it's like cuts to a very flat textured environment with about ten werewolves in it. And you're like, oh yeah, that's about as much as that console could do. <laughs> Seriously, bored of fighting you guys. Can you just please? I don't care if it's the standard variant or the Chipotle chili flavored variant that I'm fighting here. Just like. Please. How many do I have to kill? Give me a number. I will kill them. Wow, you just took like 12 side hits to the face like a champ. No stun at all. Oh, now you're stunning. Now you're dead. Oh, thanks. I see that you all went to the same dojo of running at a guy and punching him in the face. 
fair play. Oh, okay, I guess that was the requisite amount. Here is the American performing what is probably considered a war crime. <laughs> ah, yes. This, this just wipe out this entire race. Wouldn't be the first time! <laughs> Attack helicopter to a fist fight, says the man with the giant sign. The what the? Yeah! <laughs> what is it's the most like power metal album cover ending I've ever seen? I will fly off to the sunset, hanging off of a scythe, off of a helicopter. That's a master ninja.